Well, we are gonna head down to the old nursery property today. I've really been staying out of here since uh, the, the first Sunday of hunting. Well, the only Sunday of hunting and rifle season, I've just stayed out for an, pretty much an entire week. The wind has just been terrible. Um, the unfortunate thing is all of my big bucks are gone. And they've been gone for almost a month. I have no idea where they went to other than the last day of archery season. I had a really nice buck that I, don't, I didn't recognize come in to about 32, 34 yards. And uh, that was the last buck I've seen on the property as well as pictures. There's just been nothing. Should be a pretty decent night. Like I said, they're coming into these food pots almost every single night. And uh, we're gonna hunt the second, the smaller of my food plots, just because of the wind direction tonight. It's out of the south again, and it's just not ideal, but I think I can get a shot at the doe before they make it into the food plot, which is when they would smell me. So, fingers crossed for a good night. Got about another 15 minutes, we'll be there. I'll run in, check cameras, and then we'll be in the stand right away. He's alive, boys. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's alive. Well, unbelievable. The buck I've been after all archery season is alive. I haven't had a picture of him since the day I seen him, and that was the second week of November. So as of Friday, at the time's off, so at like nine o'clock, he was still alive. our first deer of the evening of course I'm not in the stand that's real close to them but oh, there's no way they hear me they're like 200 yards away right now and uh, there ain't no way I'm taking a shot at 200 yards in this tree because as you guys saw the cameras kind of wobbling around I'm also wobbling around so there's no way I could take a, a steady shot on that deer. But looks like they're moving into the bedding area now. They could still could come this way, but they gotta hurry up if they're gonna do that. Almost on cue, like they do almost every night, the doe started to show up.
After they made their way into the first food plot, I noticed a fawn working up the lane towards the second food plot. I ended up turning back around and going back the way it came. But then, here comes a mature doe. By now I have the gun up and I'm fully ready to shoot until she starts to sniff the air. All I need is for her to take two to three more steps past that tree and I have an easy 45 yard shot through some minor weeds. But with the west wind, I think she got a whiff and turns around and goes back to the other plot. What's up? 